small island and one of the biggest is the Panglao Island. Okay? A famous in Cebu is Mactan Island. Here is Panglao. Okay, take notice to your right side after this vegetation here. There is a view. That is the Panglao Island. Okay? Panglao from the word Mapanglao, sad, lonely. Okay, to your right side. There you go. It's high tide today. Okay, that's the Panglao Island. The white building above the mountain is the only mountain resort here. We call that as Bohol Plaza Resort. And since it's a mountain resort, it's cheaper compared to others. But mostly who stay there are big groups like educational tours or offices having conventions or seminars. So Panglao from the word Mapanglao, sad, lonely. Because there were only few people there before. I think it has only 30 resorts in Panglao. But now, oh my God, it's more than maybe 500 resorts already. And mostly, okay, Nicola. And most of the owners are European, German, French, Swedish, Norwegian. They may be, maybe because they've got the money, no? okay. And Panglao also became famous because there was a shooting down there before. You know, Filipinos love to make industries, no? There was a movie, even if you search that in YouTube, the movie Steban, led by our own actor Fernando Cruz Jr. And the very sexy actors in the late 70s, Alona Alegre. That is why there is a place there called Alona Beach. But it doesn't mean that Alona Alegre owns an area. And there were three resorts named after her. Alona Q, Alona Palm, and Alona Tropical. But the owner of the Alona Palm was a European and he went home. And in the great bankruptcy, now it becomes Henan Resort. So Henan Resort is a sister company of Morocco. The owner is Chinese. Chuso. So Alona is our mini version of Burak. Because along the beach front there are resorts, reservoirs, and hotels. And of course, the nightlife are there also. So actually, Panglao is the center of tourism in the because of their white sand beaches. So to your right side, that is the road going to Panglao. And there is a bridge over there connecting the mainland to the island. Because before, when we go to Panglao, by paddle boat or by motorized boat but now since they are connected with two land bridges so we can go there by land trip but Pangla is about 80 kilometers away from the city so it's about 30 to 45 minutes drive from the city so definitely Pangla is not part of our itinerary today we are more on countryside so we're heading now to your first stop the blood compound so as I mentioned it's just a statue or a monument between Don Miguel Lopez and Igaspi and Dato Si Kaduna. And that is only a commemorative shrine, okay? So nobody really knew what happened. But the town of Luai, uh, you said that the blood bomb happened in their town. Huh? So it's just a statue or a monument. So maybe we can stay there for 10 minutes or picture taking if you don't mind. Okay, so uh, if you want to buy some stuff also like, uh, what is this, a uh, kitchen or uh, bread handed, uh, it's cheaper here, okay? I will explain more later about the blood compact as soon as we get back to the van. Okay. If you need umbrella, mom, you have umbrella. That's so okay. hot, is it?
weeks or season. If the Darsh is doing the 360, we have to run. Okay? <laughs> it's no longer normal. Pregnancy or gestational age of a Darshim is six months old. And the mother also will take her baby six months also. That is why one baby in one year. So they are in danger. But we still have them in the wild. We still have them in the conservation. We still have them in the sanctuary. In the wild, if you can see people, you will jump and hide. Because long, long time ago, anybody can catch them and put them on a cage and the tourists and their food some donations and they're making money out of it. We call that Tarshir in captivity. But now, no more. So the Tarshir that we're going to visit right now are the Tarshir in the sanctuary. They are protected. They are not tied up. They are not on a cage. They are on their own natural habitat. And since they are on their own natural habitat, maybe you can only see around four or five Tarshirs. Because others are still sleeping on top of the trees. And we cannot tell them, well, Tarshir, come down because a lot of tourists here do your job. We cannot say that. It's a matter of control. But uh, don't you worry, because the four or five Tarshirs, they look like the same. Mm -hmm. The same faces, but different position. Station one, Tarshir sleeping. Station two, Tarshir hiding. Station three, Tarshir awake. So Tarshir, Tarshir, Tarshir. So the same faces, but different position. But don't you worry, if you're not satisfied with the four or five Tarshirs, just look at me. I'm the fifth. <laughs> okay. Without joke. Okay. And then, mind you, the size of the Tarshir is just like a fist of a man. Very small, yes. And the color is brown, so it looks like leaves. Sometimes I will tell them, I guess, Mom, sorry, it's a Tarshi. And the guys will say, wait, well, and they're having eyes to eyes already because they imagine it is big, but now they're very small. And the baby size is just like a thumb. But sad to say, we can see an alive baby, we can see a preserved dead body of a baby. Because once they deliver their baby, they will hide. So we can see an alive baby. And their tail serves as their balance so that if they will jump, they won't fall. So it measures around 7 to 11 inches long. And Tarshirs already existed 45 million years ago. So <laughs>